Hi, my name is David Blattner, and I'm the co-host of InDesignSecrets.com. I'm also the creator of the Blattner Tools suite of InDesign plugins from DTP Tools. And Blattner Tools is a whole bunch of plugins that makes InDesign even better. Now, one of the questions I'm asked a lot is how do I create a style report in InDesign? You know, something that I could show to my art director or my client that says what the definition of this body text style is or the definition of this heading to style. What's the font, what's the size, and so on and so on. Well, turns out that that's actually difficult to do in InDesign, so we added it to Blattner Tools to make it easy. Here's what you do. You open the Paragraph Styles dialog uh, panel here, or the Character Styles panel, and in the panel menu, scroll to the bottom, and you can choose Create Paragraph Style Report. I'll choose that, and it asks me which styles do I want to be in my report. You can choose each one uh, individually, or go ahead and uh, choose all of them if you want. Then it gives you a very fine detail of control over what do you want to uh, be in the report. Do you care about case? Do you care about tracking? Um, if you do, leave them on. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of them on here to give me the, the ultimate in detail. I'll click OK, and Blattner Tools asks me where do, you, where do I want to save that report. I'm just going to drop it into my temp file that I've created here. You can name it anything you want, but I'll just leave it set to the default. It tells me I already have one there. That's OK. I'll replace that uh, for this demo. And now it asks me, do I want to use the template? Uh, InDesign comes, well, the Blattner Tools plugins comes with this template that we can use for my Power Styles um, report. So I'll go ahead and use that. You can completely customize this template to any way you want. You can change the colors and the styles and put your own logo on it if you want or whatever. Anyway, this is the style report that Blattner Tools created. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Just go to 200% here and we can see, I better move over here, you can see that the chapter number paragraph style is based on no paragraph style at all. The next style is chapter number and it has these attributes and so on. It doesn't list the font, for example, here, because the font is the same as the default font, which is the one inside the paragraph style. In this case, the, the default is just Minion Pro. That's the default inside InDesign. Uh, let me jump back over here and look at another style. How about this one, Heading 2. Once again, Heading 2 is based on Heading 1, and here's the size and the letting and space before. Again, these are all the options that are different than the, uh, than the Heading 1 style. So it gives you that level of control, which is great. Now, let me show you one other thing that this is really useful for. I'm going to jump back here to my document, and I see that this document has a style called Specs. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's used anywhere. I can't find it when I do a find, uh, use the find change feature. I can't find that style anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Well, InDesign tells me it is, in fact, being used. Usually, if you can't find it with the find change dialog box, but InDesign indicates that it is being used by throwing up this dialog box, that means that it's used inside one of these other paragraph styles. But which one? It would take a long time to go through and figure that out. But it's very easy once we have our style report. All I have to do is search for the word specs. That's the name of the style. I'll find the first one. That's the, uh, the style itself find the next one, and we can see, there we go, the specs paragraph style is being used inside this, uh, this style called FDISCT. I don't know what that is, but I do know that it's based on specs. So it gives me a level of, of, of detail of reporting that would be very difficult to find just by going through all of these styles. Anyway, that's Power Styles. That's a feature inside Power Styles, which is part of Blattner Tools from dtptools.com. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy using Blattner Tools, making InDesign even better.